welcome everyone on the series of video tutorial on sql basics and in this video tutorial we will be talking about alias and rename so to some extent the concept of alias was uh, brought before you in the aggregate functions so alias is nothing but it is a temporary renaming of either done to a table or to the column heading the main purpose of alias is it makes the column name more readable. The rules says that alias name could be anything, but usually to keep it very short, it's a preferable. Okay. So the same aliases can be applied to a table as well as to the column. Applying the alias to the column, the syntax is select column name as the temporary name you want to give at the, at the time of output. Once you are executing your query, that particular name is what I call it as alias name from table name. But if you want to give an alias name to the table, the syntax is select column name from table name as the temporary rename of the table you want to give at the time of re executing the query that is what is the as alias name for a particular table. Right? So if it is for a column, column name as alias name and if it is for a table, table name as alias name. Consider the example for a column level aliasing. I have the name of columns in my student table as S number, S name, age, address and marks. Now if I want to list out the name of students who did not appear in exam, so I will going to write it as select S name and marks as Sorry, there is a mistake. As will not come. See, uh, the normal query I am talking about. Select SNM and marks from student where marks is null. Is null indicates that the marks column, if it is uncounted empty, I want the output of name and marks of only those students. So the output will be SNAME marks null. Right now, if I have to rename this particular column for a temporary time till I execute and check the result of this output query, I could do it as select s name and marks as not appeared marks from student where marks is none. Right. So what happens at this case is the column name is temporarily renamed as not appeared marks. The table level aliasing is done as follows. The table name is student and I am giving it as an alias name as small s. And the query I am giving for the table is if table dot marks or that is I could also write it as marks less greater than equal to 15. But I am writing it as if in my students table the marks is greater than or equal to 15 give me the output of names and marks of those students right so this is the table from the student table given the temporary alias as s i could also write it that using the keyword that is as as s right rename command using aliasing we have studied that we are doing the temporary rename and the scope is local to you get the execute, uh, execution of the query but for this particular uh, rename command we are giving the temp permanent renaming for a particular database object right and if i have to reference any old name since the old name gets affected using the rename command i have to manually every time change my old name to the new to the new name for if i have to reference it again the syntax for the rename command is rename old name to the new table name, right? So suppose the table name I had previously was student and I want to get it renamed to student underscore details. My query would be rename student that is also old name to student details that is the new name. Now if I fire the query that is select star from student, the system is going to prompt me with an error that table or view does not exist. It is because my table has been permanently renamed as student underscore details. So my records would only be visible if I write select star from student underscore details. Right? 
so thus the rename does the permanent renaming of the data uh, database object or you can call it as a table right that's all thank you